It's Telescope Tuesday, a video where we check out all of the images released by telescopes this week. This is an image from JWST of a spiral galaxy that is 45 million light years away. It took the world's biggest space telescope just 17 minutes to take this image, and in it we can see star clusters alongside the space dust and gas that make up the spiral arms, plus a few nearby stars with the eight-pronged JWST spikes. Switching to Hubble now, we get to see another galaxy, this one with a tasty dust lane. It's a beautiful, almost edge-on spiral galaxy that lets us see the central bulge of the galaxy, alongside more nearby stars, this time featuring Hubble's four star spikes. Hubble also released this colourful picture of part of a famous nebula called the Veil Nebula. This is a pretty collection of space dust that came from the explosion of a star roughly 20 times more massive than our sun. This thing is about 2,400 light years away inside our own Milky Way galaxy, so it's a lot, lot closer than either of the galaxies we've already seen. Hubble, though, loves imaging galaxies, and another one it showed us this week was yet another stunning spiral. This one is dotted all over, with pink dust clouds and blue clusters of stars. We also saw a collection of small galaxies that are swarming around Andromeda, the nearest full-size galaxy to us. These came from Hubble again, and they all look pretty great. Finally though, a company called Firefly Aerospace became the first private company to successfully land a probe on the moon. They have released some amazing photos from the lander, and while it's not a telescope, I can't help but include them. They include images from the descent, the landing, and even of sunrise the following morning from the moon. I especially like this shot from just after they landed, because you could not only see the Earth ahead, but also its reflection in the solar panels of the blue ghost lander. Subscribe for more Telescope Tuesdays and other spacey videos.